Well, right now, Rafael is continuing to strengthen in the Caribbean on approach to Cuba. The visible satellite imagery showing a much, well, uh, much better formed tropical storm. And hurricane hunters flying in the system are noticing that a ragged eye has begun to develop. We're seeing new thunderstorms developing around that center of circulation. And the wind speeds are now up to 70 miles per hour as of the 3 p.m. advisory on Tuesday. A very compact storm, and the movement is northwest at 15 miles per hour. It has picked up some forward speed here, and so it will continue to head towards western Cuba. The official forecast track has this becoming a Category 1 hurricane as it crosses over Cuba. Then it enters the Gulf of Mexico, still as a hurricane, Thursday morning into the mid middle of the day Thursday. Tropical storm warnings have now been posted for the Keys and for the offshore waters of southwest Florida. Now, the long-term track beyond Thursday, the environment's going to become a bit more hostile to the system, and that's why the Hurricane Center has the storm weakening as it moves off to the west-northwest and then curving north. Now, there is still a lot of error room here once we get beyond the Saturday time frame in terms of where the exact center will be. Uh, but a lot of our models have actually been shifting a bit farther west for today, perhaps bringing a landfall sometime on Sunday closer to the Louisiana Gulf Coast as opposed to the Alabama and Northwest Florida Gulf Coast. So again, there will still be changes in this track. Again, most of our model guidance has reflected this change for today. Again, noticing that the NHC track is right in the middle of the guidance. Then, of course, we see the um, actual models kind of deviate a bit once it gets, the cl gets close. Now, I mentioned the environment is going to become hostile to the system as it moves in the Gulf. This is our upper level moisture. We've also got the isobars denoting the pressure. And what you'll see as this moves over Cuba, all of those isobars, those circles, are right in the middle of that deep green. So this is a well-formed hurricane tropical system moving over Cuba. Now, as it moves into the Gulf of Mexico, still well-formed, but once this starts to move north, it starts to encounter those strong upper-level winds. And what you'll notice in our model guidance is by the end of the week, how all of that green shifts to the east of the actual center. That is sheer impacting the storm. All of our models are showing this. And by the time we head towards Saturday, this system could be very, very weak. In fact, maybe barely a tropical storm as it starts to approach the coast. Now, all of the moisture with it will probably be shifted off to the east, and we're hoping that we could get some beneficial rain from this system. Right now, based off the forecast track, we would anticipate that there could be some tropical storm force gusts on our part of the coast. I really think most of that will be confined to areas south of I-10, and that would come again Friday into the weekend with some gusts maybe approaching 35 to 40 miles per hour. Still fine-tuning that forecast, but again, Raphael expected to become a hurricane later this evening.